Hi, this is Warren from frontendaudio.com, and today we're talking about the Universal Audio LA610 channel strip. The LA610 incorporates the 610 tube mic pre DI or line level input section with an LA2A style optical compressor. It uses the same T4 cell. Coming in closer, we see that the 610 section, we've got two different levels of microphone input impedance. We've got 500 and 2000 ohms selectable. We've got line level, and then we've got two levels of instrument DI, 47,000 and 2.2 million ohms. So depending on whether you have active or passive pickups or how you like to match things up, you've got some more tonal variation right off the bat here. We've got a feedback stage here with the tube amp that we can increase or decrease the gain from, giving us some more harmonic content, maybe some mild distortion um, you know, from the uh, tube section as well, giving us even more tonal variation. We've got a 15 dB pad. We've got our uh, phase reverse and also a phantom power. The DI jack is located on the face of the unit. Here's our level. This is our additional gain level here. Typically you would run it in the 7 to 10 range, but obviously to taste is what you want to achieve. Um, and then varying between the tube section and the impedance gives you a lot of tonal variation. They've also incorporated a two band shelving EQ where you've got a high band of 7K, 10K, and 4.5K. And you've got a low band of 70, 100, and 200 cycles, each selectable at plus or minus 9 dB up and down. So you've really got some very well chosen points that you can EQ your source. This always feeds into the compressor section. We've got a single peak reduction knob, just like the LA2A or LA3A, where we're able to find the amount of reduction that we're looking for in a very smooth type of manner, but all in one place. We've also got makeup gain after the compressor as well. On our metering, we can select from the preamp output, the compressor's gain reduction, or the total output of the unit. And we've also got the ability to bypass the compressor, or we can compress or limit. So we can change that ratio and hit things heavier with our compressor section. Also, the power switch is located on the front of the unit. Looking at the back of the unit, we can see that UA is using XLR inputs for the mic and line level, as well as XLR output. We can also see that the unit is switchable to 230 volt use, but you'll need to look in the manual for that information because it does require a fuse swap as well. I find the LA610 to be a pretty versatile channel strip. It certainly has a classic sort of sound to it. With the 610 mic pre section, you really can get that nice tube drive sound, a little bit of sparkle, some nice depth out of it as well, and then feeding into a nice optical compressor. Now the optical compressor is using a lot of the same components as the LA-2A. It doesn't sound like an LA-2A. It doesn't have the same smooth buttery sort of sound as the LA-2A. I find it to be a bit brighter. It's also quicker. It seems to have a faster attack and release time there as well. So they do different things, but it's very handy to have around for just some nice one knob compression or limiting. It's very effective. For more information on the LA-610 and for all your pro audio needs, Check us out online at frontendaudio.com. Thanks.